Pixie from Pixie Site and I'm going to show you how we can change your cookies settings and display on Squarespace. Um, so if you're not sure what cookies are on a website, they're basically just small text files that is held on the user's um, side, on their user's device when they visit a website. Um, so cookies just contain information about that helps the website remember certain preferences um, and give a more personalized browsing experience. So things like your login details, maybe what was added to cart, language preferences, things like that. So it's all about enhancing the user's experience on the website. Um, if you are not sure whether you need to have cookies on your website or not, just check that in your whatever your own country's rules are. Um, simply Google it. Um, but I was actually surprised how many countries it is not a legal requirement that you have to have to have. Um, so check that. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you the Stellar Social website template on this, how we do that. So we'll jump down into settings. And then in here, have a look down until you see cookies and visitor data. So we're going to click on that. And then you can see here that we've got some different options that we can toggle on. So you've got your cookie banner, which comes up along down the bottom there. And you can see that it's already got, got our text and people are able to just go ahead and click on that cross to get rid of it because it's annoying when it's sitting there on the website. Um, or let's have a look. We've got, we can have it as a bar along the bottom or you can change it to a pop-up. So it just pops up here in the corner. I like this option more. I have had a bar on my website for quite a while and now I've opted to go for um, the pop-up and I've made it a lighter color so that it's just not as in your face and annoying. Because the last thing that we want is when someone lands on your website, they feel like that's the biggest thing that they see, they're bombarded with it. We don't want that, we want them to see and get excited about what's behind it. So we want them to just kind of quickly accept or get rid of the cookies and then carry on on your website. So we've got here that they can either opt in or opt in and out. So you can see that I've popped in opt in and out because some people choose to decline. Um, and you can see that it's got the two buttons down here. So as far as customizing the words on it, what we're able to do is click on customize, review changes, uh, yes, let's save those. Cool, and now we can see some more options. So we've got position on the bottom left, we could go bottom right, you could go up the top left or top right. So of course the last thing that we wanna do is hide the logo, hide our nav, uh, depending on what is on your site. So this one here, I'm going to go for bottom right. So I've got my call to actions and things over this side. And then we've got to consider, of course, mobile as well. It's probably just going to top up, uh, pop up like a banner across the bottom anyway. So here you can hit, see that you've got your opt in button labels, accept or decline. Um, if you're going to change those, still keep it so that it's very obvious so someone understands that either yes, they're accepting or they are declining. Um, I wouldn't go using out there words or descriptions. You wanna make it really obvious for them to make that choice. And down here is your disclaimer text. So this is where you're able to choose what you would like to say. So for this part here, um, if you use ChatGPT, cool. If you don't, cool. You can go ahead and write your own, but you basically still need to say the same thing. So what you're letting people know that if they choose to accept cookies, then you're going to get a better experience on our website. Do you want that or do you not want that? And cookies is meaning like basically it's you're leaving the crumbs behind of the cookie of where someone has been on your website. So let's go, we're going to jump into ChatGPT and use that here. So chat.openai.com. And let's say, please um, make the sound more fun and friendly. You may not have a website where the tone is fun and friendly. Your website may be very professional. It may be... 
um, very approachable, it may be funny, it may be um, whatever your tone is, that's what you want to stick with. You don't want to go out on a limb and do something completely different to the rest of the tone of your website. So let's say this, um, please make this sound more fun and friendly. I'm updating my cookies um, on my website. There you go. Oh, okay. Let's say, can it please be only one sentence long and give me a few options? Here we go. Okay. Welcome to our website where cookies create a delightful experience in keeping the digital fun rolling. So they've said what cookies will do for you and whether you're accepting or not. By using this website, you're agreeing to let our cookies work their magic, enhancing your browsing joy and keeping everything running smoothly. Get ready for a cookie fueled adventure. By exploring the site, you're giving us permission to make your experience sweet and unforgettable. I like that one, only because it matches in with the rest of the brand on this website. So keep that in mind. I'm going to drop that in there. Oops, formatting, control, shift, V, Velcro. There we go, and you can see that it's changed it over the side here. It's changed that text. Okay, so the other thing that I want to do is just change it to the light theme. Um, because I think light works better and not being so in your face. So it depends on what colors, of course, you've already got popped into your theme um, on your Squarespace site. And then you've got your call to action type, which is text and button. I just find the buttons are a bit large. Um, but of course, if you like that, you can go ahead with the buttons. Cool. And that is it. Make sure that you go ahead and save. Um, save that, make sure that you click save and then you can check it on mobile also. Of course the aim is that it's no big deal, people are seeing it, if people read it, you want them to maybe have a little giggle, make it a little bit more interesting than what the default is, you just want them to hit accept and then carry on on your website. Um, Cool, so that's all as far as the cookies go. If you like the look of this template um, and you want to learn a whole lot more around Squarespace and marketing and SEO and absolutely everything and start off with a strategically designed website, then you can grab um, this template and I've got other templates that you're able to browse as well. Just hit the link below if you've liked this. Please give me a thumbs up because I'm still new and growing um, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Thank you.